All right, in this America is not Babylon moment, uh, we are going to be talking about John Hagee recanting and joining, rejoining Catholicism. You say, well, what's this have to do with anything and what's going on in the debate here? Well, because a lot of these Satanists, these uh, papal Jesuit coadjutors, coadjutor basically means just a helper, essentially. So they, they help out priests and they help out whatever. They're trained by the Jesuit order to help out help the cause of Roman Catholicism. And you have two groups. You have spiritual and temporal. Okay, the spiritual are working in within the Catholic Church, the priests and things like that, the priesthood. They're the spiritual coadjutors. Then you have temporal. Those are the ones that help out in the physical world. Okay, and a lot of these people that are coming out and saying, trying to take away the clear teachings of the King James Bible against Roman Catholicism, they take it away and, they, and, and everything. They're just... They're helping the Vatican. So they are, by definition, temporal coadjutors. That's what they are. Not making it up. But one of the things that they do is they'll say that it's the Jews, oh, the wicked Jews, oh, it's always the Jews that are behind everything, you know. And, you know, there are wicked Jews. I'm not denying that. Of course there are. There are some wicked Jews, very wicked Jews in Israel right now. That's the reason for the time of Jacob's trouble. Duh, you know. <laughs> but uh, they, they, uh, They'll say, well, it's the Jews that, are, that control the world. The Jews control the world. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that's why I'm bringing up this thing of John Hagee. Because, you see, if John Hagee is controlled by the Jews, and John Hagee certainly covers up for the wicked, Christ-denying Jews. He says that Jesus never claimed to be the Messiah and things like that. I've showed that in other studies. But if John Hagee is in the back pocket of these Jews, then he shouldn't have to worry about offending Catholics, you see. But he apologized years and years ago for offending Roman Catholics. Why? Because the Catholics are the ones that are in control. They are the ones that to whom the kings of the earth bow down and worship. The Pope is the one who's controlling things. The Black Pope, if you want the real guy. But I'll show you here the article. Here you have Lancaster, PA, New Era. This is uh, Wednesday, May... Oh, oh, 2018, 2008 there. Uh, I wonder how that got there. Isn't that something how the newspaper printed it like that? Isn't that just awful? Don't know how that got like that. But uh, pro McCain televangelist apologizes to Catholics. We'll read the article here quick. It says John Hagee, an influential Texas televangelist who endorsed John McCain, apologized to Catholics Tuesday for his stinging criticism of the Roman Catholic Church and for having emphasized the darkest chapters in the history of Catholic and Protestant relations with the Jews. <laughs> well, okay. Hagee's support for McCain has drawn cries of outrage from some Catholic leaders who have called on McCain to reject Hagee's endorsement. The likely Republican nominee has said he does not agree with some of Hagee's past comments, but did not reject his support. In a, William to, in a letter to William Donahue, president of the Catholic League for Civil and Religious Rights, Hagee wrote, out of a desire to advance a greater unity, look at this, among Catholics and Evangelicals in promoting the common good, I want to express my deep regret for any comments that Catholics have found hurtful. Well, let me just give you, I'm just going to take an opportunity here to speak directly to Roman Catholics, okay? You are wicked, you are satanic, your system is sending you to hell, and I'm saying that because I love you, all right? You cannot be saved and be a Roman Catholic, your system is satanic. It is from the pits of Satan's minions. I can't say the pits of hell because people, when they go to hell, they find out the truth, okay? So it's not really from the pits of hell. But Roman Catholicism is pagan Babylonian witchcraft. It is Baal worship, all right? That's why there's so many priests that are raping little children. And if you're covering it up, you are a sick individual. There. Does that, does that give you my idea of, you know, unity among evangelicals and Catholics? Yeah. I'm not an evangelical either, by the way, so there you go. Let's continue. Donahue, one of Hagee's sharpest critics, said he accepted the apology and planned to meet with Hagee Thursday in New York. Oh, I bet he met with Hagee. I bet you he did. Gave him his marching orders. And a bag of donuts, too, probably. I got what I wanted, Donahue said in an interview. He's seen the light, as they like to say, so for me it's over. Seen the light. Could it be that he's uh, illuminated? Conspiratorial. Don't listen to me. I'm conspiratorial. The controversy had threatened to pursue McCain throughout the campaign, potentially hurting his standing with Catholic voters. The, later, or the letter came 
after Hagee met last Friday for lunch in downtown Washington with 22 influential religious activists, virtually, virtually all of them Catholics. Don't you love that? Don't you love that? He meets with 22 of these Roman Catholics. They're saying virtually all. They probably all were Catholic. And they just uh, give him the nice little veiled threats. Hey, buddy boy, we can destroy your little building down there and all the big cult following that you have. Or you can side with us and you'll get a nice little donation. Yeah. My advice to the Catholics is, thy money perish with thee. Uh, here we go. Hagee has cited the Inquisition and the Crusades as evidence of anti-Semitism within the Catholic Church and has suggested that Catholic anti-Semitism shaped Adolf Hitler's views of Jews. <laughs> they did! Where do you think he got them from? Good night. You know, Roman Catholicism has always taught replacement theology. They'll try to deny it. Oh, we don't teach it. We don't teach it. We love the Jews. <laughs> yeah, sure. Just like you love me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I know better. Okay? You love me, meaning you'd love to kill me. That's the only love that I get from a Catholic. In my zeal to oppose anti-Semitism and bigotry in all its ugly forms, I have often emphasized the darkest chapters in the history of Catholics and Protestant religions with the Jews, Hagee wrote. In the process, I may have contributed to the mistaken impression that the anti-Jewish violence of the Crusades and the Inquisition defines the Catholic Church. It most certainly does not. You disgusting, gluttonous liar, you. It is. Yeah. Hagee has often made references to the apostate church and the great whore, terms that Catholics say are slurs aimed at the Roman Catholic Church. In his letter, Hagee said he now better understood that his use of those descriptions taken from the book of Revelations, I always love how they put an S on the end there. It's Revelation. Thank you are a rhetorical device long employed in anti-Catholic literature and commentary. You want to see some anti-Catholic uh, literature? Right there. In the dedicatory, it'll give such a blow to that man of sin, popish persons it talks about. This King James Bible is against the Roman Catholic Church. That's why they've never endorsed it. And you can read it word for word in the book of Revelation and you'll come out with the Roman Catholic Church as Babylon and nothing else. Uh, let's continue here. The remarkable two and a half page letter was no doubt inspired by the political storm Hagee's endorsement caused. Hagee leads a San Antonio, Texas mega church. <laughs> I love it. With a congregation in the tens of thousands. He has an even wider television audience. Has a, made a, you ought to just change audience to market. When he endorsed McCain in late February, Donahue and other Catholic leaders demanded that McCain repudiate him. Some commentators even likened Hagee's effect to McCain, on McCain to the controversy Democrat Barack Obama faced as a result of the views expressed by his former pastor, the Reverend Jeremiah Wright. McCain initially embraced Hagee's endorsement, but he was soon forced to put some distance with Hagee. Campaigning in North Bend, Washington, McCain on Tuesday said Hagee's apology was very helpful. Asked if he or his campaign played a role in brokering Hagee's letter, McCain simply said, I certainly wasn't. Yeah, okay. So, why would this uh, powerful friend of the great Jewish conspiracy, why would he have to grovel at the feet of Roman Catholics and Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Don't take away my, my mega church from me, please. Because Roman Catholicism is in control. That's why. Do not fall for the Vatican lies, these little Jesuit temporal coadjutors that are coming out and saying, it's not the Vatican. The Vatican is not Babylon in Revelation 17. They don't rule the world. Yes, they do.